Well, today, the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors was just one vote away from being held in contempt and possibly arrested. It has been two months since Arizona's electoral votes were certified for President Joe Biden, and there's no evidence Maricopa County's election was compromised, but that isn't stopping some state lawmakers from searching anyway. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez joining us now live with the latest on the tensions between the state Senate and the county board. Nicole? Yes, yeah, Steve, this back and forth has been called a lot of things. Political gymnastics, a game of chicken, a power struggle, all in the name of election integrity, an election that's long been over. Still, the Arizona Senate nearly holding the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors in contempt of the legislature, something that's never happened before and would authorize their arrest. But when it came time to vote, a surprising twist. And with that... By a vote of 15 ayes, 15 nays, you have failed to pass SR1005. Split down the middle, an unexpected result for some after a handful of Arizona leaders have spent months playing a game of chess. Between subpoenas, lawsuits, open and closed door meetings, they still haven't ever been able to agree on what's enough to reassure voters that the 2020 election was fair and accurate. The two audits they have are a joke. They're not going to find anything. There's, they're not meant to find fraud. Senate Judiciary Committee Leader Warren Peterson, one of a handful who say the Senate should be conducting its own audit of Maricopa County's elections. We need to be able to collect facts. We need to be able to investigate. Otherwise, how are we going to know how to change the laws? And to do that, demand the county hand over more than 2 million ballots cast in November. But the Board of Supervisors has time and time again refused citing state laws that prevent that without a court order. The Board of Supervisors is insisting that the 2020 election was conducted flawlessly in Maricopa County and that it can pick and choose what election materials it will or won't produce to the Senate. This defiance of valid subpoenas is unlawful and it's offensive. Outside the fight, Secretary of State Katie Hobbs, who sided with the county supervisors from the get-go and echoes state laws, she says makes it clear the members of the Senate are asking for things that, quite frankly, by law, they're not entitled to. They can't have all the ballots. The ballots are sealed. Um, state law doesn't allow them to have them. There's this kid's book called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, then the, the mouse keeps wanting more things. And that's where I feel like we're at right now. Okay, the Senate will please come to order. In open session today, 15 senators voted in favor of holding Maricopa County in contempt, but according to them, not because of who won or lost in 2020, but because their refusal calls the Senate's power into question. The authority of the institution is irrevocably damaged. It means that people will know they can ignore a subpoena and that there isn't you know, likely consequence to that. Their actions show they are dripping with contempt. This is the issue of, once again, a political subdivision challenging your direct authority. What's next? We got the county. Next thing you know, it's a city, a school board. The GOP-controlled Senate expecting to have the votes Monday, but instead blindsided by Republican Senator Paul Boyer. Members, my vote today is about prayerful patience. It's about resolving disagreements civilly, and these are things that I believe all of the senators can agree upon, regardless of our respective votes today. Madam President, with that, I vote no. His vote forcing a tie, widening the divide even among those on the same side of the aisle, and the claws were quick to come out. Senator Boyer, have they complied with the subpoena? They have not. They have not. We have someone who has reneged on his word and now is going to have to go into the hands of the public. I'm embarrassed, I'm, in, I'm ashamed, and I'm disappointed that those I believed have completely destroyed my confidence in them. So public, do what you got to do. Senate President Fan clearly disappointed in that tie. Her perspective that this wasn't vengeful, but rather a tool to fast track this issue to a higher court. But for now, it looks like it's going to stay at the county court level as Maricopa County election officials continue to move forward with now a second audit on their behalf. Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.